my name is Sam Nichols. I'm a lecturer in music at Leeds Beckett University. Uh, my role involves uh, teaching various modules which are kind of specialise in about the music industry. So that's like the uh, ecology of the industry, how it's formed, but also looking ahead at kind of the strategies businesses use. Well, I was lucky that I kind of got m music lessons at a very early age. Um, first of all piano and then trombone so I had kind of a strong grounding in the, I guess like the theory side of music and the more traditional style of, of doing music but um, from a from a teenager you know I was, I was I was always interested in more experimental music and and developing songwriting and everything like that and challenging myself and always working within a kind of group of people to try and to try and really better that um, so it's something I've I kind of developed myself with my friends really when I was younger. Since my music career finished I was doing a lot of developmental work with different organisations so I was speaking at conferences like industry conferences about um, starting music careers uh, and a lot of work for other organisations doing that work uh, as well but I mean I think all of that was, I was able to do all of that because of the career I had in music where I'd, um, I'd started quite a few businesses and had a successful performing career so my band was, had, started, had toured around the world and, and released uh, records um, I'd set up a music venue, I'd promoted um, live events for about three years at a music venue and I'd also set up a record label as well that worked with, with bands from around the region and, and internationally as well. I think as a lecturer there's lots of, it draws lots of different kind of people to the role and I think it depends what what your role is within a, a department for example so we have some people who are who perform very you know academic research roles and uh, you know write, do a lot of writing of papers and reports and things like that um, and engage with the students in those areas um, my background is very much networking with industry that's what I've always done that's what I did before I was an academic I'm able to bring that into my job um, and it also helps me foster that kind of pastoral relationship with students as well, which I think is quite important. But there's a big team of us here at Leeds Beckett. There's maybe up as many as 30 of us. Um, and we've got quite a lot of students, but it means everyone can take up different roles, really. As a, as a lecturer, obviously, we're, we're based mostly kind of on campus, working with our students. But in music, in, in, in our area where we are, we've got a sort of fantastic range of, of uh, spaces to work with within the university, recording studios, um, what we call labs, which are sort of teched up computer rooms, which have kind of sound cards and keyboards and things like that, as well as normal classrooms. Uh, because I work with so many other partners as well, they quite often end up uh, you know, going around the city to have meetings, either at promoters' offices, sometimes um, at sort of open meetings with institu other institutions like uh, other universities or, 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 the, um, or the council. Um, and yeah, quite often, you know, because of the, the nature of the national organisations in the music industry, uh, it ends up taking you to London. So quite often we'll be down there having meetings as well, end up at a gig afterwards, um, as well as the kind of big conferences. So places, things like uh, Liverpool, uh, Sound City or Brighton, The Great Escape, um, as well as smaller ones around the country. There's the opportunity to go and kind of network, also kind of do research, inform what we should be feeling back to the students as well. When I first started working at a as a lecturer, um, I actually worked um, part-time as a lecturer on a contract and was still continued to do um, a number of freelance work that I had. So I was actually, before I started working at, uh, at the university, I was doing a lot of record production. So I continued to work as a producer alongside that and it's, I think it's one of the reasons the university hired me actually was because I was able to kind of do that and bring that work in. Um, and even still, I'm, I'm still not technically a full-time member of staff, which does allow me to kind of try my hand, do other external projects that works really well. Um, I've enjoyed having a, a contract at the university, but essentially I've been self-employed since I was 18 as well. And I think the flexibility to manage both is really important. On the other hand, you can do a lot of uh, almost self-employed work as a lecturer as well. We're, all, we're always bringing in professionals either to do one-off guests or, 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 or people we can kind of, you know, who are around the city more often and we can engage for a whole semester's work, they're able to come in on kind of shorter contracts as well. So there's a lot of flexibility around it. 
think there's a few kind of key factors that that led to me working within the university. Um, I did a master's degree uh, at the university um, when my sort of music career had finished and that really kind of helped kind of bring me in line with a kind of academic way of thinking and um, and yeah and, and helped prepare me for the job that I'm doing now. Things that have led to me do, doing well as a lecturer, if I can say that, are the you know the ability to communicate with people and relate to people, like relate to students, um, and hopefully like empathise with them as well. And I think that works in other aspects of what I do as well. But certainly because of my background, the fact that I went to university and struggled at first, the fact that I've been a musician, I've tried to create you know music businesses. Um, with the, with the young people I work with, you think that that's a lot of what they're trying to do as well. And if they have problems, it's around similar issues. So I'd, I'd like to try and feel like I relate to that um, and and help them through with whatever that it is that they're trying to do. And I think that seeing other people's problems is a big thing that works when I'm trying to work with other organisations and institutions as well to kind of build bigger projects. It's about seeing what the obstacles are and from all sides and then being able to work on a on a proactive solution and I think maybe that last bit is also the other important thing is always trying to work out what a solution is and not just I guess give up which again I think probably stands you in good stead around the industry because if you're trying to achieve something it's about identifying what it is you can do to make it happen and not focusing on the stuff that you can't do. I was lucky that the job came up here where it was about music production and that was kind of what I was doing at the time. I was, I was, my work with musicians was coming out in the studio so I was, I was recording a lot of artists um, but everything else that I'd done obviously kind of fed into to that as well. I think the important thing to realise is that I was able to, all the work I'd done kind of building my career in like at the start and then going to a master's, I did instead of an undergraduate degree. So I, I never actually did an undergraduate degree but the work and experience I'd had doing it, running a venue, running a record label, being in a band that, that, that managed itself and toured um, kind of gave me the basis to come in and successfully do a master's degree and then, and then, and then get a job. Uh, generally the role of an academic, so it's, it's, a, it's a great job to have as a sort of music, uh, someone who's passionate about music and active in music because you can generally be quite flexible around what you're doing ar around teaching the one thing you can't be is your teaching. So if you are um, within a semester, it is very hard if you still wanted to be an active musician to just go away and tour because you have a responsibility to your students to be there when, when they need you. So while there are chunks of the year in summer, for example, where it's a lot easier to sort of pursue your own musical instruments while doing the job and it being useful for your job because you're feeding it back in, there are times where you, you, you kind of just can't because you've got to be here, you've got to you be, be with your students and, and they're going to need you for that support. The perks are a lot of the time you can kind of devise your own way of working, you can pursue your own interests within music. Um, outside of the kind of teaching you have a lot of freedom to go and make the most out of that. The universities are often very supportive of, of, of a subject like music. It's, they see it as a great way to engage the, you know, the outside community and show off what a university is great at so you can get a lot of support from doing that. Um, so as long as you can kind of you know, define what it is you're trying to do, there's a, there's a lot where you can kind of have the academic job and still continue your own interests, be it recording, performing um, or anything else. Working in a university is can be good for your work-life balance. It, it can also be not so great for your work-life balance. You you do feel a responsibility to your students to kind of to to be there for them when they need you. I mean, you can manage that within a kind of working week, but you want to get involved in their projects. You know, if they're performing, you know, out in out in the city or running events, you kind of want to get involved in that. You want to support them. If you're an active person in music as well, you're naturally going to be drawn to doing doing external things outside of your sort of teaching as well. So in that respect, it's really easy to, to end up doing a lot within the job, but hopefully that's because it's enjoyable and it's because what you want to do. Um, so it's, it's kind of about managing what you want to do out of the job because you will have responsibilities to teach, but there will be a lot of, especially within a role like music, a lot of opportunities to do stuff you know, outside of a standard working day. But that's kind of what a lot of people within the music industry want to go into it for.
working with an university, you know, I hope and I think is quite stable. You know, we are working with a stream of young people who are passionate about music. It feels like we're always going to be necessary there. Um, it's definitely a changing environment. I think the way young people, what young people expect, A, from a university and B, from a music course at university, the changing difference between the need to, to go to university, apprenticeships, uh, freelance, contract work, it's, it's really changing up and we have to think about how we address that as, as, as delivering music courses. Um, but as long as we do that, I hope we're going to be relevant to everyone. I mean, the, the students who come on our courses go on to do lots of different things. Some of them will be developing their music careers uh, while they're at university and we can support them while they do that. Some of them will complete their degree as if it was uh, you know, an English degree or, or something and then go into a graduate job afterwards. But that graduate job might be with, with Sony Records or something like that. I think the thing I like most about working at the university was a couple of things is being able to um, you know, work with exciting young people who are very passionate about what they want to do and, and, and kind of seeing them on that journey uh, to get to where they want to be, like instilling them with that belief and then seeing where they go. Um, but also kind of there's something to be said within working for an institution where you, if you are doing outside projects you can have in some respects a, a really big impact because you can bring in partners and kind of elevate what it's what it's delivering um, and so that that's quite exciting as well number one is you know you do have to have some kind of qualification whether it's um, a postgraduate certificate in teaching at HE level or a master's degree well and or a master's degree and or a PhD I think as long as you're trying you're showing willing in doing those things you can get in at, at various levels but you need to kind of be on that that role of doing things number two is part part of that is is having an awareness of of the research material that there is out there around music whether that's uh, from the kind of industry side through an organization like UK music or through kind of more traditional academic papers but being aware of what's being written about your subject um, helps obviously deliver it and stay current to your students but also get into the job in the first place. And I think the final thing is is to be proactive and get out there and I think that probably applies to almost any role in the music industry and probably beyond but certainly getting to know what field it is you might want to be in, the people who are doing that either in the institution that you may want to ideally work at or even nationwide who the leading figures are and try and follow what they're doing so you may be able to in some way emulate that I think that's really important as well. The Leeds music uh, industry is in a really interesting place at the minute and I think there's been a lot of people who've worked within Leeds and it's almost entirely been on a freelance basis. You know, a lot of people have based themselves in Leeds to do work um, both locally and around the country. What we're starting to see now is a few companies kind of uh, thrive and grow. Um, and there are more opportunities. We are seeing more jobs advertised in music in the city, shall we say. There's definitely still some uh, that go down the traditional route of, of it being about who you know, um, but, there is, but there are advertised jobs now for people who want to work in music, and I think that's really exciting for the city, and, and I'm sure it's something that's going to happen more. But having said that, there's, there's, because of this growth, there is a bigger network of organisations and more work around on a non um, like contracted basis where you know for sound engineers to uh, certainly touring services is a big expansion production hire as well as even freelance press marketing uh, events um, there's lots of roles that these growing companies are kind of using people for and, uh, and getting people to work for them as well so it's, it's kind of expanding and, and hopefully it'll, it'll keep moving in a really great direction Thank you.